Let's go! you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda. Huh? Oh, Dios mío. Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? You want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> The people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Senor, <laughs> there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Allende's jail. They will be a great help to us. La libertad y la prosperidad están a nuestro alcance. Ustedes han sufrido la tiranía y la opresión. Únanse a la lucha. Juntos podemos derrotar a Intruso, quiere liberar a los presos y ¡Tómatelo! Amigos, tomen sus armas y peleen. Juntos podemos devolver el poder al pueblo. Marchamos sobre la marcha de la gente. No aguantamos a traición. Intruso, quiere liberado. Para las cerraduras, compadre. 
Thank you, compadre. I will fight next to you. Machine gun junk! We can use gunpowder to blow the door open. Wait while we get everything into position. Now, junk! Mansión. ¡Echen la puerta abajo! ¡Oh, compadres! ¡Aquí vienen más! ¡Están subiendo la cuesta! ¡Preparados! ¡Defenden la puerta! ¡No dejen a nadie entrar!
of my stagecoach. Go then. I'll cover you. It's Agenda Williamson. Come on, John. Vámonos. Date prisa, cabrón. To the horses, compadre. We cannot let them get away. It didn't have to be this way, Bill. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next! Allende is dead! Mexico is mine! My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day! Luisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levantense. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on.
Foreigners coming to Blackwater for work? Not back. <laughs> Some mutts, they'll just stole my horse. Pony up and stop them. Howdy, ma'am. Police used a bullwhip on someone they arrested the other day. Step to it, Mister. Ready, sir. I'm gonna place officers in every well, corner. Well, he's right. And one day I'll have my own place. Maybe hey, over in these tall trees. Line. One oh one, one oh two, one oh three, one oh five, one oh, one oh. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. One oh seven, one oh nine. Edgar Ross. One thirteen, upstairs on the right. One fourteen. 115, 116, 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. 
I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 344. 345. 347. 3 3 That's it! You're all out of last chances! Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Fordham. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case. I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. 
As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on then, Marston. You're with me. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Ah! Hurry, there's somebody up there! <laughs> 